Hello and welcome to Truck Talk Videos. Tonight features the Meds. I thought it was a Magarus, but it's, it looks like it could be Russian. No, we are not in the Baltic or Sweden or even Scandinavia, should I say, in fact. No, we're in Viva la France, yes. Euro Truck Simulator 2 at Viva la France DLC. This is very hard, as you can see, with all the um, ice. Oh, black ice about. And, uh, of course, slippery road conditions. This really does slide all over the place, this tractor unit. It really does. This is it from the outside. TIR plate. Obviously, international shipment of goods back in the day. Just take a look around the cab. That's quite nice, isn't it? There, I, th I quite like that. So, this is all my mods are <coughs> off uh, Steam. Steam mods. I can't seem to get the others. There is one that I know the squirrel tested a few weeks back um, which was one where you go into the depots and you have to wait for the gate to slide open um, I'm not sure what site that's on and yes the truck's already busted after about half an hour um, so I'm not very happy about that I just said on the last video about Peter Carlisle my very good friend who owns a, um, a GMC CCKW, which is the old, come on, which is the old military truck, the old um, US Army cargo truck that was seen on the Red Ball Express just after D-Day. And we can get a move on if this MAGA, if this uh, tracks unit will start. Come on, come on, come on. Not sure I'm going around this quarry actually because uh, usually I do, but tonight I don't. I'm actually recording this on my phone, and the reason is is because I can put it straight onto YouTube, and I have my camera here, and that's very very heavy. <laughs> that's why I'm sure all the YouTubers have it on a tripod. I'm really not sure where I'm going around right now. But yeah, it's a nice tractor unit from the 80s. I'm, I'm quite a fan. It's just nice to have something different for a change rather than the same Scania's or same Volvo's or same... You know, it's nice to have something different in the game. I've actually got the... the Russian uh, trailer mod which makes the trailers have very big off-road wheels. And it also makes the tractor units, even your Scania's, Volvo's, Renault's, Evico's, anything, you can add big, big off-road tyres to them. Uh, I haven't got the mod, the mod, uh, I think it's Pro Mods, I'm not sure, I think it's Pro Mods, for the Russian map. I would love, I would love that, but I honestly don't know how to do. Stop, Black Ice. Black ice on, on dirt, actually, because it is a dirt road. Um, we are in a quarry after all. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how to get that. I know Squirrel said you have to load like, the African map in, uh, Icelandic map. I love the Icelandic map, by the way. Um, certain ones first. I think it's the Icelandic one, and then it's the, and then it's the other... Um, Scottish one, so on so forth. Baltic region. So yeah. Um you know it, it, it frankly it would be nice. But I will tell you more about uh, my flying lessons and Peter and the Dragon, because he has built the dragon near Bagint, which is a beacon, you know they, they set it on fire basically. So, more on that later. And also... Doesn't that look good? <laughs> Not to everybody, but... 
I'm sick. I'm sick of the Scanias. Even though I love Scanias, you do get a bit sick of the same old tractor units in the uh, in the DLC. So I know what Squirrel says, and that's copyright. So safe journey out there. And this is Truck Talk signing off. Flash the lights.